Weather from the Storm Tracker 9 Weather Center. Well, if you happen to make it out to the Oregon coast this weekend, you know exactly where today's weather picture is. Such a beautiful shot sent in by Shelby. Uh, this was at Lincoln City at the annual Kite Festival there. Such a beautiful day for the Kite Festival, uh, especially on Saturday. Uh, if you're not familiar with this, again, right in Lincoln City out at the D River Wayside at the beach there. Uh, in my opinion, one of the best beaches on the Oregon coast. And thanks to Shelby for sending in such a fun shot. If you have a weather picture, I'd love to see it. You can send it to me on Facebook like Shelby did. Twitter, email, of course, works as well. Uh, and if you haven't checked out the Wix Picks Gallery on KEZI.com, uh, it's a great spot. Just head over to the weather page there and you can also upload your pictures in addition to viewing all of the hundreds of pictures sent in by our viewers. Always appreciate uh, to see how you're enjoying this great Western Oregon weather. 76 was a high temperature on Sunday, so a little bit cooler, although that is one above average for this time of year. The record, 97, could you imagine, haven't been that warm yet this year. Uh, that was the case though back in 1992. Picked up two hundredths of an inch rainfall yesterday, not even making a dent in that deficit, which is now at 15.8 inches below average for this point in 2013. So uh, if you're not a fan of the rain, well, it's a good thing and hopefully will help uh, as we enter into our fire season. Seven hundredths uh, of an inch for those of you in Corvallis, a little bit more there. Nearly two tenths uh, between Newport and North Bend, and we saw almost that much a bend uh, as well. Even saw a few thunder showers rolling up over the Cascades. We continue to see rain showers overnight, especially south of Roseburg, Medford, picking up a heavy dose of rain over the past 24 hours. Uh, we're going to continue to see scattered showers off and on throughout the day today. Here's the area of low pressure responsible for all of this rain. With low pressure, we always get counterclockwise flow. So uh, the air rotates around that counterclockwise and it spreads that moisture right here into western Oregon. Here's the difference with this storm compared to most storms that we see. This storm's actually not moving east. It's going to stay parked right there, but we're going to continue to see the rain as we see uh, waves wrapping around this storm. Waves of energy. Uh, we uh, typically call them small waves. Uh, you can think of them as spokes around a wheel, and those will rotate through about every 24 hours, keeping the rain going here across Western Oregon for the next 72 hours all the way through Wednesday. As we head into the second half of the week, complete opposite. What's going to happen is that air level pressure is going to move north. High pressure is going to force it to do so. That's going to move in from the desert southwest, again, where they've been seeing temperatures well over 100 degrees. Uh, we're going to start to see some of that heat even sliding here west of the Cascades. So for those of you along the coast today, High temperatures back into the low to mid 60s. Uh, you'll get back into the upper 60s, nearly 70 by Thursday. Uh, but again, seeing rain today all the way through Wednesday. The Umpqua Basin, low 70s for you. Scattered showers off and on today. That'll be the case also for Tuesday and Wednesday. Slowly climbing with each day, nearly 80 by Wednesday. And then we're talking mid to upper 80s Thursday all the way into the weekend. The Cascades will be in the mid 50s. Freezing level continuing to climb now up to 8,000 feet. So uh, just plain old rain showers across the path low 60s for those of you in the foothills, mid to upper 60s in central Oregon, and you'll also see that slow climb back to the mid 70s Wednesday, mid 80s by Thursday. And for the valley, high temperatures topping out near 70 degrees today, so a little bit cooler. This will be the coolest day on the week. Uh, we'll see those scattered showers uh, rather light Tuesday and Wednesday, high temperatures back to the mid 70s midweek, and then we jump all the way up to 84 degrees Thursday, staying in the low to mid 80s Friday and all the way through the weekend, sunny, dry as well.